Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nalto to explain here, and today I want to have a very, very, very serious conversation with you guys about whether or not Sardar Uchiha should have been the main character instead of Boruto. Now, I think it's important for us to have this conversation, and I want you guys to refrain from commenting right away until you actually finish the video because I want to have a real conversation with you guys. So I would really appreciate if we don't have a bunch of knee jerk reactions right on the very front end, though. I know there's still gonna be some people that do that so have right at it Hoss I'm just gonna say please at the very least wait until the end before you actually make these comments now with that being said the reason I want to have this conversation right now is the Boruto manga is coming up on four years of being in serialization the Boruto anime is coming up on the third year of being in weekly rotation and if you look at the response from the Boruto anime and the Boruto manga there appears to be quite a bit of a difference so when you look at the the manga I think most Western fans would agree that for the last 20 chapters the Boruto manga has been absolutely for the most part extremely good there have been some chapters where it's just like okay put your foot back on the pedal I don't necessarily care for this like the uh, Kawaki and Himawari stuff with the vase I know a lot of people are like oh god I hate the pacing you know if you want to get really critical some people will say the last 20 chapters of the Boruto manga have just been very good but not excellent but they haven't been just average either and then when you get to the anime western fans will say the anime has been absolute trash the only good episodes have been the tuning exams and the time travel arc and there's this huge divide whereas when you get over in japan a lot of the japanese fans they absolutely love boruto boruto does very well as an anime it's one of the top five most profitable shows for tv tokyo it's not going anywhere anytime soon i mean the anime's done really good whereas the manga the manga star out on a high point steady sales and then there's a decline that brings me to the question of whether or not Boruto Uzumaki was the right protagonist for us to have for the series now I personally I like the idea of Boruto being a main character however even I can admit that there are some times where I do get a little frustrated with them I do get a little frustrated with Boruto but at the end of the day I get what they're working towards they're trying to give us this whole thing of uh, you have a character who has every Everything and he's a tragic hero in that he's eventually going to lose everything despite all these talents that he has. I totally get it. And I think that once they start actually transitioning into that portion of the story, I think a lot of people are going to come around to Boruto as a character. But when it comes to Sarada, one thing I've seen is that outside of Naruto Gaiden, okay, outside of Naruto Gaiden, Sarada, for the most part, a lot of fans love her character. Sarada, for the most part, has that positive reaction. You don't see too many people complaining about her. Like when you had that moment where where she debuted a certain jutsu in the Boruto manga, everyone freaking popped over it. When she activated her three Tomoe Sharingan, everyone popped over it. It's because in the anime and the manga, we've seen her overcome so much. And this has led me to kind of going back to it. Could things have been different if Sarda was the main character? So let's just make a pitch for what a Sarda series, a Sarda anime or a Sarda manga would actually look like. So here's the pitch. Essentially, you're in the same time period where 15 years have passed since the end of the fourth great ninja war except in this timeline people aren't forgiving sasuke sarda is having to overcome the evils that the uchiha clan did because the uchiha clan for the most part they started the fourth great ninja war they're the reason why this horrible war that took tens of thousands of shinobi's lives even happened in the first place madara and obito did it sasuke started the war on that site that's very feasible. I think that you could feasibly say that yes, because Naruto and Sakura and Kakashi, they forgave Sasuke, doesn't mean that the rest of the village, doesn't mean that the rest of the ninja world has to forgive Sasuke as well. Naruto Shippuden hinted at it when you got to the Sasuke Sunrise novel adaptation. You had the scene where the Raikage tells uh, Sasuke the story about how Naruto bowed before him and how Sasuke really doesn't need to screw up this opportunity. You know, the fact of the matter is, is they could have gone the route of Sasuke even after all this time because he started the war on the side of the Akatsuki because Sasuke fought for his own reasons okay he wasn't fighting because he wanted to save the ninja world he, want, he was fighting so he could kill the five Kage after the fact kill Naruto get rid of the Biju and rule as a dictator basically Kage and that whole thing stood in front of him and his vision for the world like the fact that you have Senju Park and the fact that you have these statues and these Hokage monuments 
all this other things, it's a constant reminder to Sarda that her clan was on the wrong side of history. Having Sarda learn about the Uchiha massacre and learn the truth behind the massacre that her grandfather tried to overthrow the Hidden Leaf Village. Having all of that and have that be juxtaposed to her wanting to become the next Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village, do you think that's enough conflict right there? I'm gonna say right now, I don't think that Sarda being the main character for this series would have worked, okay? If we go into the Boruto anime and manga the exact same way that we did, I don't think that Sarda could work as the main character because you didn't really have time to miss Naruto as a series or as a character, okay? Like literally the manga ended in October of 2014 and the story was closed up with Boruto the movie in summer of 2015. A few months later, like literally like seven months later, you get the first chapter of the Boruto manga. You never really had time to miss Naruto, miss anybody from his generation, miss that story and say, hey, I wonder what happened. And so if you would have went into a story where Sarda would have been the main character, it would have been one of those things where you've kind of seen that story before. Like there would have been some differences, but there would have been a lot of parallels, even more so than what you actually see with Boruto. I'm not saying that a Sarda series would not be bad. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying Sarda is a character who wants to be the Hokage. And if you introduce even say a little bit of pushback to the fact that she's Nuchiha, that's basically the same thing as Naruto having to overcome the hatred that it comes from him being the Jinchuriki of the Ninetales. So if you look at it objectively, okay, you could have gone that route and it could have been absolutely believable. I definitely think that that's something you could buy into where yes, Naruto, Sakura, Kakashi, probably Shikamaru, Eno, basically the main cast, the Konoha 11, yes, they more than likely would have accepted Sasuke. And yet you have a wrench in the whole design right there. You have Karui, someone who's from the Hidden Cloud Village, someone who was very passionate about the fact that Sasuke basically attempted to capture Killer B. And at the time she thought that Sasuke aided in the murder of Killer B by having Killer B uh, have the eight tails extracted from his body. So you could have something in there to where Chocho, if you look at the relationship they have in the anime, Chocho and Sarda, they're very close. What if it's one of those things where Chocho is not allowed to hang out with Sarda simply for the fact that Karui cannot get over her ill will that she holds towards Sasuke. That would have been something that would have been good conflict right there. That would have been an internal conflict that Sarda has that is coming out in an external way to where she's having to overcome all that stuff right there. Because when you really look at it, that's a very real reason. In the real world, people fall out for far less. So that could be something you could do. Also, at the same time though, again, that's no different than what Naruto went through when it comes to the whole thing with the QB. Now, the other thing though, the other thing just kind of circle back to the other point that I was making is let's look at what happens with the anime, okay? So the anime comes out in 2017. Naruto Shippuden ended the very last episode with Naruto and Hinata's wedding and then it rolled a few, I believe the very next week if I'm not mistaken, right into the Boruto anime. So again, you never had time to say, oh shit, I miss these characters. So when you see all this, uh, references to oh yeah you have this character they can do this summoning jutsu this character does this it's like yeah yeah i remember because i saw the naruto series i just finished it you had a, a lot of new fans who once they found out that boruto was a series a lot of these fans they binge watched a lot of the key episodes or they played the video games and that's how they considered themselves being caught up and so for that stuff when it comes to recap it's one of those things where they're like oh shit okay i already know this stuff and that's why you get some of the pushback you get a good Good way for you to potentially continue on the legacy of Naruto is when you get these different novels that you get, okay? When you get these different novels, so the uh, Kakashi Hida novel, the Gar novel, the Shikamaru novel, all of these, instead of doing anime episodes, if you just want to take the core novels and because they focus on other characters other than Naruto, if you would have took, say, one movie a year or two movies a year and done these novels, it would have given you more time to actually miss the character of Naruto to where now if you want to come through and you want to come in with another series now there's been a build-up because you've missed it now financially they're never going to do that because boruto is making almost as much money as naruto's anime in the naruto shippuden anime and this is without boruto having theatrical releases once every couple of years like the naruto series has so this is without all of that right there so i totally understand it 
And yet at the same time, I think that there wasn't as much attention to detail when it comes to planning for potential pushback over the fact that Boruto Uzumaki is Naruto's son and he's going to be the main character. I think that's why you have some people saying I'm not necessarily a fan of this. Now, I want to close out with this. I want to concede something, okay? So when Naruto Gaiden came out, I remember when those chapters were being released in 2015, okay? Early 2015, you had a lot of people, they weren't necessarily happy with the way that the Naruto manga and the Naruto story ended, okay? And you had this moment where you're getting this continuation, so everybody was just so excited, like, oh man, we're gonna get closure, we're gonna get more information. They, they marketed Naruto Gaiden as chapter 701 all the way to chapter 710. And what it was, was essentially, Sarda was the main character that Masashi Kishimoto said that the story is for the 12 year old daughter of Sasuke and uh, Sakura okay and a lot of people they weren't happy with it. they said oh my god it's daddy issues I don't like Sarda as a character at first it was like oh this is interesting and then because of how she was written a lot of people were turned off with Sarda being the main character of a of a series even though Naruto Gaiden sold very well and a little fun fact Naruto Gaiden has sold more than most of the Boruto manga volumes matter of fact it sold more than all the Boruto manga volumes and once you get past volume four if you total up all the sales it doesn't eclipse what Naruto Gaiden did in one year so I definitely understand why there are some people who feel like Sarda could carry a manga but I think that it's too much of what we've already seen in the past but i want to know from you guys how do you guys feel about my pitch my pitch for a sarda uchiha manga story do you guys think that's something that could work but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching all you to the end have an awesome day guys